so students in this module we will do hands on work okay i will show you the code which you need to practice also and i will also show you the results of running that code in the mysql environment and we will uh, be creating a database creating tables uh, adding data or inserting data into the tables deleting the data even dropping the table and so on so you need to practice all of this so without further ado let's look at the outline of this module so you see there is lot of activity which is going to be happening in this module and i will go through those things very quickly and you need to practice it a number of times because you before you get the understanding of how things are working so let's start so first of all we need to create a database and the name of the database is my database so how do you know that the database has been created you show you type this command show database and it shows these three databases okay and here is the database which was created the other databases are the ones which are used by mysql understand this let's move ahead so what we do now is that we create a table we create a table and this table has a primary key which is the id over here this is the primary key and before we use we have to type the command use database okay which is in the notes also use database right and then of course we start doing things now remember one thing that you do not have to type this you don't have, this is this is this is the display which is done automatically by the uh, mysql environment okay and remember that the keyword key or index is used instead of the primary key so this is the table which was created and then we do the command show tables and this is the table fruit which was created this is the table which was created okay and explain fruit basically tells about this table that what are the contents of this table okay uh, what are the types of this different fields and so on this is self explanatory this is the primary key okay this is the primary key over here and it is auto increment it means that whenever a record is entered okay the id is generated automatically by the system this is i believe is very clear okay now we need to populate that table we need to populate that table and there are number of ways of populating this table this is one of the standard ways so we insert this is the table name okay this is the table name we insert in this table and what are we inserting this is the name okay and this is the value this is the name okay and this is the value over here okay this is what we are inserting so this is this is one way of doing things or we can also do like this insert okay we can do insert into into table okay and then v1 value 2 value 3 and so on this is another way of doing things so this way we can populate the table and whatever is not entered that is replaced by a null value i think this should be very clear now we move on to reading the data from a table once we have created the database created the table entered the data we need to read from that table so let's do this all right so now we have what we had entered now over here i said select asterisk from table it means that show all show all columns all columns okay then i say select name and color name and color name and color okay which and you see that this and this they are same they are same okay and then i put a condition which is a where clause to retrieve data which is specific for example i am only interested in everything asterisk means everything all okay everything from this fruit table what is the selection criteria where the name is banana okay so i get the name attribute and the color attribute only for banana over here it was for tangerine and plum also this was without the where clause without the where clause now we need to update update the data in a table right so how do we update is we use the update this is the update command okay 
so we set the value this is another reserved word and we say that the name is grapefruit color is yellow id is 2 okay now remember if you leave out the where clause the entire table gets updated if this is left okay entire table remember entire table will be updated which is not required okay it will be updated it will be a disaster be careful use the where clause now we created the table added data inserted looked at the data now we want to delete data from the table or the database so i say delete from this fruit table where id is equal to 2 okay so you see now 2 is gone select asterisk look at the name and the color is gone okay similarly i can say for example i have these tables over here it is a fruit table from the show command then i say drop table drop table show table empty nothing i have this database over here show and i know this this is my i created then i say drop database remove database show database see now i have two databases all right my database is gone my database is gone why it has been dropped see so i can remove record from a table i can remove the table and i can remove the database also all of these things can be done okay now remember this you can do things but you have to be careful okay so be careful with statements such as delete and drop because you can't undo the deletion process make sure you back up your mysql databases regularly and before carrying out any operation that could potentially wipe out a lot of data okay wiping out the data okay this is wiping out okay you can also alter the definition of the table even if already has data in it so please be careful by while you are running these commands and take a backup of your system so that's about i have for this module